latest updates subscribe to news 9 Amidst the controversy surrounding Sputnik V vaccine, the Indian embassy in Moscow is in talks with Russian Medical Research Institute. The indigenous vaccine was developed by Gamaleya Research Institute of Epidemiology and Microbiology. This development came after Russian President Vladimir Putin announced the world's first COVID-19 vaccine. The Indian mission is engaging separately with the Russian side through our embassy in Moscow. We are now awaiting the safety and efficacy data of this vaccine for COVID-19. As per local reports, several Indian companies are trying to obtain technical details of phase 1 and phase 2 clinical trials of the controversial vaccine. Indian companies have asked the Russian Direct Investment Fund to provide the technical details of phase 1 and phase 2 clinical trials of Russia's Sputnik V vaccine. At the same time, CEO of RDIF Wealth Fund, Kirill Dmitriev, asserted that they have great interest from Indian pharmaceutical companies. We have seen great interest from Indian pharmaceutical producers in the Russian vaccine. and are now in talks with them about potential cooperation and production of Sputnik V in India Russia had received requests for a billion doses of the vaccine from other countries and that international agreements had been secured to produce 500 million doses annually However several experts across the world still cast doubt on the Russian COVID-19 vaccine According to the experts developing a vaccine is a lengthy and complex process The official Sputnik V website states that phase 1 and 2 clinical trials were completed on August 1st and the third trial will be involving more than 2000 people. Phase 1 and 2 clinical trials of the vaccine were completed on August 1st, 2020 and the vaccine received a registration certificate under emergency rules from the Russian Ministry of Health on August 11th. Phase 3 clinical trial involving more than 2000 people in Russia, a number of Middle Eastern, UAE and Saudi Arabia and Latin American countries, Brazil and Mexico. But the Medical Research Institute is yet to publish the results of phase 1 and 2 clinical trials of the vaccine. As per Russian study, the efficacy of the vaccine was confirmed by the high precision tests for antibodies in the volunteers. The high efficacy of the vaccine was confirmed by high precision tests for antibodies in the blood serum of volunteers including analysis for antibodies that neutralize the coronavirus as well as the ability of the immune cells of the volunteers to activate in response to the spike S protein of the coronavirus which indicates the formation of both antibody and cellular immune vaccine response. On the other hand Russia's top respiratory doctor resigned from the health ministry's ethics council Professor Alexander Chuchalin quit the health ministry's ethics council over gross violations of medical ethics that rushed through Putin's coronavirus vaccine